this is N1 Hunter and I'm here uh, in my new wave Bravo XL series. Today will be something fun. I wanted to make myself a sandwich with salami and ham. Actually, I've already made them with the Dave's Killer Bread. Good seed. And um, yeah, I get them in packs of two. I get to packs of two uh, at BJ's. And um, yeah, I love that bread actually. So I thought I'd share with you that. But here's the interesting thing. So we know that the toaster oven is also a air fryer. I have an awesome recipe for hot dogs where you can air fry the hot dogs in the bun in an air fryer and it tastes yummy. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with these sandwiches and see how they turn out. Let's try it. So using of course the XL, the Bravo XL, you turn it on. We're going to hit not toast but air fry. Let's see, oh we think we got to go to menu and then we see air fry there. Level 1. Three, oh, actually, we want to go to 400. The air fry recipe is for 400. And I'm going to try two minutes. And uh, we're going to see how that turns out. Uh, of course, we've got to preheat, if I'm right. Uh, I think so, anyway. Oh, did I start yet? Oh, yeah. It's a little bit, still a little bit confusing. There it goes. It's preheating now. And uh, when it's ready to go, we'll stick the sandwiches in there, meat. In meat in the bread and cook it up together and see how it tastes when we are done. Thanks, stay tuned. All right, we are all preheated. Let's get these sandwiches into the air fryer tray. Oh yeah, that's another nice thing that this, this does is when you open the door, the, it pulls out the tray a little bit, but only if you put the tray in the proper level. Uh -oh, taking too long, okay. Let me close that. Okay, and we'll press start. Okay. Uh, so now it will take about two minutes and this uh, oven is very powerful. So we'll actually stick around and watch the uh, toast uh, or the bread to make sure it's not burning. As a lot of times I toast on level one and it still gets a little charred on the edges. So what I do is I keep a watch on the last minute and sometimes I do turn it off a little bit early, say 15, 20 seconds. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm gonna pause the recording right now, but I'll keep an eye on it and I'll let you know what happens. Here we go. All right, so we're almost at the end. Normally I would have pushed the sandwiches in a little more toward the middle, but with an air fryer, I have a closed one also, and I'm always worried about leaving it open too long, so I was anxious to close the door and keep that heat inside. But here we are, if we take a closer look, the bread is starting to curl, but it's just getting hot and it's, end, uh, it's ending now. Uh, and then, yeah, let me take that out and we'll see what it looks and feels like. You can see that the tray was pulled out a little bit thanks to the hooks here on the doors. Pretty nice. Uh, let me get a glove here and just bring this out a little more. All right, and then let's feel it. Like I said, I didn't toast it. I air fried it, but it does feel toasted. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, it's it feels toasted. All right, that's great. So close that and close this. Uh, remember to always turn it off. I always say one of my pet peeves is the oven will not turn itself off. Uh, but yeah, if we take a look at the sandwiches, they feel toasted, they look toasted, and um, let's see, it might be hot, but I always try the food on my videos, my other videos, snack, snack videos that is. So let's see how it tastes. Uh, one moment. Ah. Mmm, you hear the crisp and crunch? Mmm, actually that's very good. Mmm, totally recommend it. Like I said, there's a hot dog recipe too, where you can put the hot dog, cook the hot dog, air fry it a little while, and then put it in the bun and cook it a little more. And so I cut out the meat cooking step and I actually just put the, uh, the meat and the bread and air fried it for two minutes at 400 and it works very well. So um, once again, um, I'm not sponsored by any of these folks, so but I just like, especially the bread. And um, yeah, give it a try. Tell me what you think. All right, uh, please like, please subscribe, and we'll chat again. Bye-bye.